So it is my honor to win a new friend and to also give you this award, service from Western Arts Alliance. Please. When I chose the for-profit side of the business, I never thought I'd be up here standing for accepting an award for volunteer advocacy work. But we made it. Two years ago in this very month, August 2020, we were at a make or break point. We were five months into the pandemic. All our agencies had lost 98% of our income and were on the verge of shutting down if we didn't receive federal aid. The one thing that we knew was that we wouldn't survive going it on our own. As longtime competitors, we managers, as you know, are known more for our independence than for community action. But it didn't take long for us to realize we wouldn't get to the other side without working together. So that's what we did. We flopped together and made a lot of noise. And we got to the top, as you heard from Gail, on August 6, 2020, we had a pivotal call with the senior staff of Senator Mitch McConnell's office where we explained the unique plight of our industry, how the arts are vital to our nation, and why we needed a government bailout. Jim James of My Morning Jacket, who was on the call, put it this way, we musicians might not be good at math and business, but we are the invisible backbone of this country. It was powerful and they finally got it. 12 days later, Chuck Schumer swooped in with his baseball hat, hashtag save our stages. He swooped in for the kill and you know the rest of the story. The passage of the Save Our Stages Act funded our industry with $16.5 billion in what ended up being the largest public rescue of the arts in US history. I wanna thank Dana Frank of NEVA for starting this movement and for getting our bill written. She was my inspiration to take on the mission of ensuring that talent agents and the performing arts would not be left out of a government bailout. I wanna thank all the members of PAMAC, many of you who are here in this room, along with Cindy Liu and our partner organizations, all of who accepted our challenge to take action and join the movement. When I reflect on what I learned from this unexpected journey, I realized that we are here not just to make this art form flourish and be relevant. We are here to speak up, to educate, to engage, and to advocate. We are all called to be advocates. This is something we need to do as part of our work, to make sure people know what role we all play and how they're impacted by it, to educate people on what it takes for this whole thing to work. Every organization and every individual plays an equally vital role in this critical ecosystem. We cannot take anyone for granted. We need to fight for each other and give each other recognition. We need to be better about working together rather than competing with each other. Going out of our way to share information and to look out for each other. Because when one of us fails or goes out of business or gets left out of the loop, it weakens us as a whole. When we make sure everyone is at the table, then we can accomplish what no one thought we could. That's why we're still here today, because what we do is powerful, and when we work together, miracles happen. Thank you very much. Thank you. 